Four, three, two, one. He said, "Why? What's going on with Meek? Like, why is he taking so many L?" I just thought I was gonna. That was gonna be my first. They like, why? I don't get it. Too like, I was not even ask fresh. Like, yeah. why is he taking so much L? It's crazy. Yeah, to go. Yeah, man. I mean, he, he on it. I mean, I think he's back on pills and all the perks. <laughs> oh, for real, my yeah. perfect set. You know, you know, he admitted as in that he was on that, which is why he was tweaking that last time. They said, yeah. He went, I feel like now he's back on it. I That's feel like, crazy. You know, Bahamas, all, all, you know, the trip he has been taking this whole year, last year. I feel like he has been popping a bit more, man, for real. I, 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 I don't know. I think it's just like he just doesn't know. I don't know if he knows how to just move when he gets on a different, like, plateau. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I think <laughs> that he gets excited easily. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's on a level where, like, certain things should be a brush off the shoulder. Yeah. But he's paying too much attention to things because he's actually on a boss. Level. Like, you can't be hanging out with Jay-Z. What's that guy's name from um the Patriots? Um, oh, it's kind of, you, can't, you can't be hanging out with those guys and be giving them 6 9 No, that doesn't make any sense. It's just rough. You's a bitch, nigga. I'll you up, nigga. You's a bitch, nigga. All y'all niggas p nigga. You guys rap about all these things all day. How you see an op is on site. You do this. You're in front of a rap. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Doing things to you, right? Literally, arms length away from you. Nothing is happening. People are just screaming, and he's saying, "Yo, with police, him to his with security." It's like, bro, it's meant to be on site. <laughs> what was right? Like we saw what they do with Safari. They actually brought Safari broad daylight. Like, bro, come on, man. Well, Something should have happened to catch his vision. Something should have happened. But me, me pretend he doesn't want to play with his freedom. You want to play with the freedom, man. Don't talk about, don't ever say anything about snitching or rats or, you know what I'm saying? Leave all that for whoever is about it. Hmm. That's what he is. definitely needs a different approach for sure. Definitely. Because his approach, his approach play for now is just like, like, guy, yeah, like, you can't, yeah. you have to ignore certain things and actually like pay attention to what you're trying to achieve. It's kind of, it's just weird. Bro, before. These street rappers started really taking off. Meek was like one of the first street rappers to like really like take off like over the last like 10 years, right? Mm. Meek has always been very aggressive, very street oriented. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. It's always a letdown when we actually see his actions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, like, nah, man, nah, nah. Too many mess up, man. Too many. It's just a big disappointment. But do you, do you think that's how it should be? Like the fact that. <clears throat> As an artist, if you're not about a certain life anymore, um, that all of a sudden you can't rap about X, Y, Z again. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, I feel like, nah, nah, I don't think so. I feel like you always rap about what you've gone through. Nah, because you've rapped about what you've gone through over the last 10 mixtapes and three albums. Yeah. But you're older now, you're chilling with white billionaires, you're doing things, you've gone to jail, you've come out, you're helping with reform, you're putting artists on. Blah blah blah. Leave all that street up, like, bro. Come on, man. I, 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 I'm pretty sure, like, Jay Z still gives say, that, yeah. Little, that, yeah, that little nudge sometimes, Jay, like, yo. Jay is different, man. Let me tell you something here. Yeah. Jay wasn't even really about what Meek was about. They all came from mm. cool. Jay sold drugs here and they're cool, but Jay was never really on this whole aggressive, violent type of vibe. Meek sold aggression. He sold when I see it's on site. He sold and for yeah. really anything happens. Jay sold, I sold crack, I made cheese, and I'm a business guy. Fair. The artists that are still on that whole aggressive like Jim Jones, them, they're still about it till today. <laughs> Jim Jones is. You heard? Jones is You're about it yeah. in his 40s. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? So I'm trying to say Mikhail should just stop rapping about that completely literally just like you can rap about like different things i feel like you've seen life enough man like mm. you've seen enough like come on man funny enough 50 is about aggression and if 50 was in that position i think he would have he would have done something see man we saw what he did with slow bots on summer jam stage <laughs> yeah for sure <laughs> Dude, this, this is that shit on stage we saw what 50 I was, I was still rapping yeah, <laughs> Jam said. You know, 50 did was it um a couple weeks ago when um 
this that guy that's always trying to rap to him. Pulled up yeah, by him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kind of rap to 50, smashing the chairs, ready. Yeah. We saw that, like, we saw how 50 reacting. Like, we saw when 50 was trying to, um, when he was telling Trap to get off the that Mika had to come and talk to him. Hey, this is 50 now. Hey, listen, I'm going to go and talk to you. Hey, and we've seen this, and this 50 was gone past 100 and come back down, gone back up. Like, Mika has not even reached that level of stardom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like Mika was even just, bro. To the point okay, where so he started even trying to just do like normal like songs. People were like, nah, we don't want this from me. Okay, so if if the industry or like that American whatever rap is um, um, money, guns, drugs, violence, sex. Yeah. What other topics do you have? You can say So the reason I'm asking yeah. this is because Pusha is long gone away from cocaine. Yes. And, you know, mixing free bass. Yes. Ross, you know, big boy in, you know, Miami, 305, whatever. Yeah. He's long gone there, but he evolved into making music and sometimes, you know, he still dabbles back into his drug, local, whatever. Yeah. But Kucha is like literally vivid cocaine yeah. rap. For so sure. when he drugs, violence, where does Meek, where does me and sex? Where does where does Meek go? Struggle, rapper, the pain, like rapper, what it, like what it took you to even get to the point where you're chilling with billionaires. Rap about how you lost, how you almost got evicted. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Rap about how you tried this business, but it didn't work out. But you invested this here and it clicks for you. About how you put this guy on. Do you feel me? Like, I feel like that, Meek, like to me, yeah, Meek, like his heartfelt songs. Before all these guys started like doing this also tune singing about like the struggle, Meek was already in that lane like four or five years ago, bro. 90, 1942, one of my favorite Meek songs. You know what I'm saying? Like he just own that P, man. Like, bro, that's when Meek's at his best to me, man. I can't even lie. I also think maybe foresight. So for example, coming out of jail and not having a movie about that. Yeah. Mm. And an album to tell that story. For sure. I think, I think he missed out on one. 100% man, like bro. Um, maybe because storytelling or the art form or whatever, you know, is missing in today's industry or whatever, or music yeah. today. But that's something that Rosé would have loved to happen to him in modern day because yeah. he maximize, like me came out of Joe into a helicopter one time. Do you know what I mean? When he came out of a helicopter, like Beyonce and everyone was talking about free me. Like he was always trending every other day on Twitter. Like, of course. News, like just everyone was like waiting for me to come out. He came out. I don't know how he didn't capitalize off that, man. I don't get it. Uh, do you think like the rap game now is becoming more like a reality show where it's not about the music, it's about like these characters and this weird show? I, think I definitely think so for yeah, yeah. I think so for an extent because like, for example, you have some, like, rappers that are literally, like, I'm not going to say they're clowns, but the way, like, they act is not about the music, the art, you know, you know, like, it's more about, like, you know, how can I get viral? How can I be the hardest thing for the week? You know what I mean? It's, like, it's crazy. Mm. I feel like this has always been the case, man. Just, feel like, times have just changed so much. Like, back then, when people were doing, like, when people were doing how to rob or game or Joe Budden, just distant 20 people at once. <laughs> we're doing it for a reaction, right? Mm. Yeah, but they were doing it through music, whereas this is just through video or like. Yeah, but know. now it's like now everything counts towards music. Niggas are doing the most retarded things, trolling on TikTok, and you see tomorrow now TikTok now goes towards album sales. This thing now goes towards everything's just getting packaged right now into one thing. I feel. Look, and some people balance it very well. Someone like the baby, he's such a comedian. He has like Boosie. The Alternative Network.